Are you looking to maximize your Google ad strategy in 2023? This seven minute bingeable marketing podcast episode is packed full of tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Google ad strategy this year. It's never too late to start maximizing your Google ads and start getting the results you've been waiting for. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Grind and Grow Marketing Show. Today, we are talking about your Google ad strategy in 2023. So before we get into the Google ad strategy for 2023, let's talk about Google ads and a quick overview of the mindset you should have when you go to run your Google ads. So Google ads are different than running a search ad. So if you watched or listened to last week's episode where we talked about social media ads, um, then you'll know those are um, interruptive based where Google ads are intent based ads. So the only way someone is seeing these ads is because they have intent, right? They have searched for you or something, taken some action to, to want to see something about your services. So they are in search of your service or your business. So with that being said, they typically already know that they have a problem. They know what the problem is and they're looking for the solution. So in 2023, the new thing to do with your Google ads that we're gonna talk about today is performance max ads. Now this is a new ad type that has recently been launched and If you're not already using this, this is the thing to do in 2023 and something different for you to try. So how the performance max ads work is it's more of an omnipresent approach. So basically it's going to show your ad in different places where the user is at. Now, what this does mean is yes, your ad might now be more interruptive depending on where they see it, right? So it's going to show your ad in different places, not just in Google search. So while we think Google ads is an intense base ad, performance max ads are in search with intent, but they're also in interruptive forms as well. So there are some things to consider, but they are very effective. Um, So One thing to note is in marketing, it used to be seven touches for someone to see your brand before they were to take action and make a purchase. Um, Now it's actually 21 touches before they actually make a move. And obviously that's on average. Um, So one thing that's nice about using the Performance Max ads is it's gonna get you more touch points. Right, So someone's going to see your ad, it's not just on one area in search, it's going to be in, you know, YouTube videos or in, you know, in WhatsApp or, you know, there's a a bazillion different places or not a bazillion, but there's a lot of different places that they are running these Performance Max ads. So that's the big benefit, right? You're going to get more touches in your ad. This, what it does is it uses machine learning to place your ads in front of the right people at the right time. So how it, how it's going to work. So how do you set this up? So basically what you're going to do is when you go into your ad account, you're going to select your goal. So it's going to be sales, leads, or like store visits. So if you're like a local brick and mortar business, and obviously you'd want to select store visits. If you are, you know, an online store, then you'd want to select sales. If you're you know, trying to build your list or you're trying to people a service based business where they're going to fill out a form and you're going to contact them, then you would select leads. Okay, so now what you'll do next is you will set the budget and bidding strategy. So very similar to what you would do in a normal ad. And then you're going to give them all of the creative assets. And this is where things get different. So you're not just creating one ad you're going to give them all of the assets that they need to run multiple ads to different people in different places. So what do you need when you go to set this up? Well, what you're going to need is three to five different headlines. You're going to need one to five longer headlines. You're going to need two to five descriptions. 
you're gonna need five to 20 different images. You're gonna want your logo and you're gonna need up to five 10 second plus videos. So again, that was five videos that are 10 plus seconds long. And then you need call to action text. You know, what is the text that they're going to, that's gonna call action, right? So to schedule a free call or to, you know, sign up, whatever. So that's what you'll need to go create the Performance Max ads. The next thing is you will choose your targeting. So your targeting can be an audience, it can be interest, it can be a lot of different things, but it'll allow you to kind of select, you know, who, who's best to show your, your uh, ad to. So, all right, so that's Performance Max ads and they're definitely something for you to try in 2023. They're gonna get you, they're gonna get you better results at a better cost. So test them alongside of your search ads. If you have any questions on this, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we can help you get started on this and we'll see you in the next episode.